people are always saying lobbyists are horrible. But in this film, they help get the bill passed that ends slavery. So after playing a lobbyist in Lincoln, do you think they're actually needed in Washington? I don't think that we have anything else to compare it to because um, lobbying, uh, the, the practice of that has really been active ever since the 18th century, mm -hmm. long before this, the, the, the period of time that this film depicts. Um, really ever since the formation of Congress. Um, but that's the practice of lobbying. The actual profession is something that has changed tremendously over time. The lobbyists that I play in this film, uh, it was not, that was not his profession. They were people who did other things, who were engaged to, to, to help lobby on, on behalf of the 13th Amendment which is a very different thing than it is today on K Street with, you know, uh, offices that are specifically set up for that. And, it has, and, and over time, it became much more institutionalized. Heading uh, after this, um, heading out of the 19th century into the 20th century, that's when, th when the lobbying really became an institution. But ultimately, you know, uh, the, the truth is, is that what's, I think, endearing about these guys is, first of all, uh, the means to the end. Uh, the end result of it is the passage of the 13th Amendment abolishing slavery, and therefore any means to that end seem worthy. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and also the fact that they're sort of, you know, they're amateurs at it, and they're sort of bumbling and make mistakes, and it's also, it's an incredible uphill battle. It was a very, very hard thing for them to, to deliver. Um, and I think today uh, that's different. There, and, and, and I think well, amateurism is endearing. Uh, professionalism sometimes is not so much. Um, well, you know, in the film, there are funny lines, but you are the comedic relief, and and you make it work. How do you find the balance? Although well, Lincoln is very funny in the yes, film as well. Yes, he has I mean, some great very, stories. Very, very funny. Yeah. Uh, and Thaddeus Stevens is very funny as well. But, but I think that Bilbo is sort of the character I play is uh, sort of sprinkled throughout the entire film, and I was very lucky in that he happened to be a character who just happened to be around at sort of the most climactic moments in the film. Um, <laughs> so at least my scenes were, I, I knew from the beginning that my scenes weren't gonna get cut uh, because he was there for those, those important moments. But, um, uh, but also I knew that totally he was serving a, a real purpose mm -hmm. in the film in terms of allowing you to pull out of the intense intimacy and, and tension of the film uh, in, into a sort of breath of fresh air and, and a certain amount of comic relief, as, mm -hmm. you, as you mentioned. Well, last question. Speaking of lobbying, there's a lot of lobbying in awards season. And here we have a press day all around you. Do you think that maybe some wheels are in motion for a nomination for you? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, <laughs> I, I mean, no, no, no. I don't, that, that isn't. Listen, on a film like this, it requires an enormous amount of promotion just to open the picture. Mm -hmm. And uh, so everybody has been doing their fair share uh, in terms of that. Um, and, and that's really, I care desperately about this film. And I cared about it when I read it, and I absolutely loved making it. Uh, and I'm, after seeing it, I'm incredibly proud to be a part of it. Um, because I think it's a very important film. We took it to the White House yesterday, uh, President Obama saw it and, and, and absolutely loved it, and, and, it's a, and it's a wonderful film for everybody. And no matter what your political ideology is, uh, if you have any interest in the sort of defining of the character of our country, of the United States of America, it is a very, very important film to see. And, and therefore, I'll stump for it all day long. Last question, who's your favorite president and you don't have to say Lincoln? Um, well, I mean, we just had an election. I voted for President Obama, so right now, today, uh, and as I said, we just showed him the film and he loved it. <laughs> <laughs> He's fresh and had mind. wonderfully, wonder, wonderful things to say and was very effusive. So, of course, my favorite president right now today is without a doubt uh, President Barack Obama. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.